What undergirds our call to social justice is the concept of tikkun olam, the idea that we become partners with God to repair the world. And so, you know, uh, it's the prophetic voice calling us to take care of those who are disadvantaged, uh, to clothe the naked, to feed the hungry, um, <clears throat> to reach out to the disadvantaged. What's coming up very close is the story that is part and parcel of who we are, which is coming up with uh, Pesach. And the idea of that from, um, from degradation to liberation, um, from the opportunity to, from you know, degradation to freedom, that it is incumbent upon us to help others reach that sense of their own promised land, their opportunity to throw off the shackles of slavery, whether that slavery is injustice or that slavery is poverty, and there's so many ways uh, to do that. So in our congregation, uh, the call to social justice is one that is answered most readily. It is a way to rally our congregation and it is, takes very little effort to get them involved. In fact, some of our younger people have moved from the opportunity of doing dialogues on Jewish, Christian, Muslim dialogues to opportunities for Jews, Christians, and Muslims to come together and work together. Because often in the working together, that's where the real important dialogue takes place. Um, when you do something together, you grow closer together. When you do something you both believe in, it's, it's important and you, you show that you share a common interest and a common belief that we can make this a better world by what we choose to do together. I will take um, a story that's related to our Passover. One of the plagues that you know is the plague of darkness. And in our tradition there are some of us that say it's the only plague that remains. Um, and what is darkness? Uh, the rabbis say that darkness is, is that it's still dark when we can't see that those around us are our brothers and sisters and that they are people that are created in the image of God. So it is our responsibility to get that darkness away. And there's the story that's told about two men. One man goes and he goes out into the world and all he sees is darkness because he carries no light with him. And another man goes out and lo and behold, everywhere he goes, there's light because he's carrying light with him. And the reason it's important to shed light upon the good works of whether it's our Sikh community, the Baha community, the Christian community, the Jewish community of doing good works is because it is a light, it's God's light, and it will dispel that darkness, that darkness that can be pervasive, that keeps people from seeing one another. I'm reminded that Elie Wiesel says that the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. And um, these works that when we reach out and come together to help others, um, we're shedding light and so that people will not and cannot be indifferent. And so that is important work, that's God's work and that's bringing a spiritual dimension to our nation's capital, which is vital and important.